Hi guys. Today we will analyze target stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. Target has been an average performer in the overall market. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Support level is around $210. Resistance level is around $234. Strong resistance level is around $262. In the last month the stock has been trading between $210 and $230, which is quite wide. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 4 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 8% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 5% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 138% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now. Let's consider three different scenarios for target company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Target will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 1%. Future profit margin would be low, 2%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $91. The second scenario. Target will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 3%. Future profit margin would be average, 3%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 95%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $137. The third scenario. Target will have high performance in next 5 years. And we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 5%. Future profit margin would be high, 4%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $194. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 13.59. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For target, analysts forecast growth rate around 5% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 16. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for target company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Target will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 1%. Future PE would be low, 14. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $75. Second scenario. Target will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 3%. Future PE would be average, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $102. Third scenario. Target will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 5%.
future PE would be high, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $137. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $216, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. Target is expected to show a small growth in revenue in next years. Nothing too spectacular is happening here. And the stock is currently overpriced. Target is a dividend king. A dividend king is a company that has increased its shareholder dividends every year for at least the past 50 years. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend if the stock drops below $140. Company Strengths Target is the second biggest U.S. discount retailer. It differentiates itself by selling stylish products at reasonable prices. The company has partnerships with an evolving group of designers. Target is using its 1,900 stores within 10 miles of most U.S. consumers to offer fast easy fulfillment of digital orders while maintaining profitability as digital sales grow. The company's results both prior to and during the pandemic suggest that Target is one of the winners in a very competitive retail sector. Target customers are making purchases from a wider range of categories. In 2021, the company gained an additional 12 million multi-channel customers, who shop in stores and online. Target is a dividend king. However, with a yearly dividend yield of 1.65%, Target has a reasonable, but not impressive dividend return. Target's return on assets of 12% and return on equity of 49% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Risks Walmart and Amazon are the biggest risks to Target. The supply chain disruptions caused by COVID have raised inventory costs for Target. The decline of COVID may also be a risk for Target. Shoppers could start going to a wider range of stores. They may start spending more of their money at restaurants and less at home and they may start traveling again. Target, like other retailers, could also face a margin squeeze from higher labor, healthcare, utility and accident costs. High gasoline prices are another issue that can affect store traffic and sales. In the long term the company could be hurt if stronger Asian currencies made it more expensive for Target to import goods. Target is expected to show a small growth in revenue. In the coming five years, the revenue will grow by 5% yearly. The EPS growth is decreasing, in the next five years the growth will be less than in the last years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.